here, my name is Tommy Tate. I live in Altsaloma, California. I've been skating for about four months, and I need help with my trick force. Here are the tricks I could do, but before I start Hey man, so thanks a lot for sending your video. I really do appreciate it. Good, so I love your 180s. They are fully rotated. Shove it's are good. Could improve that front shove it a little more. I'm sure you do have it better though. Um, kick flip looks good. We... And here are my tray flip attempts. Cool, let's see the tray flip. Whoa. Yeah, definitely continue practicing stepping off your back foot. That is, is is that the board goes too high, so it's difficult to like jump high enough to put both of my feet in there. So I need to like find a way how to like keep it underneath me and not pop it so high. Yeah, it's funny. This is one of those tricks that requires a lot of power, but um, this one is pretty good right here. I like that you were able to complete the full flip of the 360 flip and have your front foot out there so it's cool you're able to step off your front foot and with your back foot but yeah like you said you're flipping the board so high and so slow not that it's so slow but it's just slower than you need it to be and I'll tell you why it's not necessarily that like you're flipping the board too high because popping the board high is good um, but yes, you would have to jump higher in order to land it. But it's not so much, I would say, about how high you jump as opposed to actually how fast you're able to flip that board. Um, and like I said in the beginning, this is one of those tricks that just requires a whole lot of power, a lot of force. So with your back foot, there's just a ton of force just going down and scooping over the side of that tail, and it just shoots straight back, and then your board is going to do that full rotation. So to the degree that you can just scoop that and flick it super, super fast is to the degree that you're going to be able to not have to jump 10 feet in the air and land on it. So I'd say you're doing a good job on those practice steps, so keep going. Um, mainly I want you to practice the one where you step off of your back foot. It's interesting because your back foot scoops it, flips it, and then your back foot kind of jumps like twice on the ground. Um, what I want you to do is continue practicing that one, but I want you to concentrate exclusively, meaning only, on just how fast you can spin the tray flip. So see if you can get the tray flip spun a lot faster while stepping off your back foot and just catching it with your front foot. Um, concentrate on that one a lot more because it's going to help you to get the scoop down, get the catch down, and put the board in the proper place right underneath your feet. And then once, once you have that really down and you're flipping the 360 flip faster, then all you have to change is instead of stepping down on the ground with your back foot, you're just going to have to bend your back knee more. So watch my, my foot, my back foot especially it scoops the board and then my knee bends up and it just bends up as far as it can then my front foot catches the board and then my my back foot comes down and I extend my knee so you're doing almost the same thing except for with your back foot you're not bending your knee you're just putting it straight to the ground like right here I could have put my back foot right on the ground but instead I bent my back knee up and you see how that back knee curls up then my back foot comes up and my front foot catches it. So it's a great practice step because you can do the entire trick. The only thing you're leaving out is bending that back knee. So once you get that step really, 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 really down, then all you have to do is bend your back knee and you'll put that back foot on. You'll roll away like a champ. Cool, so Skateboarding Made Simple Volume 5 is the one that covers tray flips. It is extremely, 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 extremely detailed. Um, Christopher Chan, who's an incredible skateboarder, helped us out with it. And he gave awesome representations of all the tricks, and he did some trick tips himself. So definitely check it out. It's available at BrailleSkateboarding.com and on iTunes as an iBook. Thanks for your support.